Yo, what's good? It's Axe Gunner, the real Axe Gunner, and today we're going to be checking out the Celestial Festival. But first, is the event worth doing? Hell to the yeah, baby! This event is amazing for leveling, either leveling your Legion or your main character. It's really, really good. Now, the only downside is there is no coin shop. The event is all about getting the passive skills. Now, look, everybody in Maple Story needs to level, so this event should be taken advantage of by everyone. So let's get to the video. First, on the left side of the screen, you can click on the Star tab and onto the Celestial event. After running through the dialogue, you'll be transported to the Celestial Festival event map. Now let's take a quick tour of the event map. Starting on the far left, we've got the portal to leave the event map. The portal under the Golden Heart takes you to the Umbra Dungeon. The portal into the Circus Tent leads you to the special No Boom Room, which is unlocked at Celestial Rank 8. There's Muhammad hanging outside the tent. He's a gentleman who will be visiting quite often. He's in charge of the skills and skill points. A little further to the right is our first AFK area. You can stand on the hot air balloon and it gives EXP. The head security officer mushroom isn't important, you can ignore him for the entire event. At the center of the event map, we've got three NPCs that will play an important role in what main event we will pick, which I'll explain later on. We've got Cassandra and her Celestial Wheel, the second AFK Balloon, this one gives Celestial points, then all the way to the right we've got the Daily Dual Portal. So that's the entire Celestial Festival map. Now how the hell do we get started? Now this event can be a little confusing because there's a lot of choice involved, and depending on what your goals are will depend on what things you choose. Now I'm going to try to simplify the event in three steps. Step one, choosing the celestial main event. There's three choices. Each week on Monday, you choose which main event to have for the week. We've got Celestial Surge, Enter the Umbra, and The Longest Night. Each have their own perks and method of capping coins. Before we talk about each one, don't worry, like I said, each week you can pick a different one. So if you pick the wrong one during the first week, no stress. Now let's talk about the three choices. First, Celestial Surge. Once per day per world, you can get 4 hours of 100% to 250% EXP buff, depending on what Celestial rank you are. The way you cap coins is you use the Celestial Surge skill in your beginner's tab. So while hunting monsters around your level, you basically spam the skill. The skill can be used 50 times to stack the EXP up to 4 hours and 10 minutes. Next is Enter the Umbra. The perk is you get access to a dungeon once per character every day. You've got 30 minutes to 45 minutes depending on your celestial rank. And to cap coins, you need to kill the monsters in the dungeon. I repeat, in the dungeon. Now the third and final main event is the Longest Night. The perk is you get additional rewards for clearing Arcane River dailies, uh, PQs do not count, and auto clears with Maple Points do not count as well. Capping coins is by far the easiest with this main event, you just need to complete one daily and you cap the 100 coins. Out of the three, I would suggest either Celestial Surge and The Longest Night. Do not do Enter the Umbra. In my opinion, it's not worth it at all. Why? Well, look, I can't tackle all the arguments in this video. It will take forever, but trust me. Look, if you have any questions, come visit me on Twitch. I stream daily and, uh, you know, we can discuss it there. Step two. Capping the coins. Capping coins is dependent on what main event you chose. There's two additional methods to cap as well. The AFK hot air balloon on the right side of the map, it takes about five hours and a half to cap. So it's perfect if you're AFK while going to work or if you're sleeping. Then Cassandra Celestial Wheel. Every half an hour, you get to spin the wheel. On the first win, you get 20 coins. Then you can choose to either claim the coins after the wing or double it in the next spin. This does not consume your coins when you play, so don't worry about losing. The only thing you need to remember is that you can only claim the winnings once per day. Now I'd recommend claiming the coins at two wins. So the above three methods, the main event, AFK Hot Air Balloon and Celestial Will all share the 100 coin cap. And the 100 coin cap is shared across all the characters within the world. And as always, there's also the Daily Duel. You do as much damage to the monster in two minutes and you'll be rewarded Celestial Coins. These coins are in addition to the coin cap, which can be done once a day. Step three, the rewards. 
So what do you spend all these celestial coins on when there's no coin shop? Well, to understand the event a little better, you simply unlock things. You've got celestial rank and your celestial skills. The celestial rank will happen naturally while you participate in the event. Each rank gets unlocked at a certain cumulative coins and will be available at a certain date. Ranking up gives a reward or perk. For example, hitting rank B will give you a character burner data. Rank A will unlock the Sanctuary of Stars, which is the No Boom Room, etc, etc. The Celestial Ranks is fairly straightforward. Now the Celestial Skill Points. The Skill Points have its own interface. You get one Skill Point every 300 Celestial Coin, which is purchased from our homie Muhammad. You get a maximum of 12 Skill Points during the event, and this is very important. On the 9th of September, you can reset the Skill Points once, and only once. Now let's go through the Celestial Skill you want. The Skills on the left are your Celestial Ranked Perks. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, the center here, it's divided in three sections and they work like your regular skill trees in video games. You start from the top and unlock new skills downwards. Some of these skills are really amazing, so let's go through them real quick. Starting with the red section. Festival Intrigue Rank C reduces combo kill orb creation requirements to 45 kills. Festival Intrigue Rank B EXP Ruin Effect plus 100%. This is the one I highly recommend everybody to get. Festival Intrigue Rank A reduces combo kill orb creation requirement to 40 kills. Festival Intrigue Rank S combo kill orb EXP plus 100%. Festival Intrigue uh, Polo and Frodo two times EXP from Polo and Frodo bounty hunting. Festival Intrigue Inferno Wolf two times EXP from participating in the Inferno Wolf. We got the Elite Bosses one, where it's two times Elite Boss treasure chest reward. For those people who are farming, I would say this is actually a really amazing perk. The purple middle section. We've got Festival Exhilaration Rank C, 5% for defeating monsters. Uh, rank B, 5% EXP for defeating enemies. Stacks with the previous rank. Rank A is the same, right? 5% EXP stacks with the previous rank. And then rank S, 10%. Uh, and stacks with the previous rank. So if you've got all four of these skills, you've got a passive plus 25% EXP. This is insanely good. Exhilaration Elite Monsters. Additional Elite Monster will be summoned while hunting. This is really amazing for farmers as well. You pretty much cut summoning a Elite Boss time in half. For those of you who don't know, uh, you need to kill 30 elite monsters to summon an elite boss. This is a no-brainer for farmers. Festival Exhilaration Monster Slayer. Damage against normal monsters plus 30%. This skill is good if you need that extra damage to one hit or two hit. Exhilaration Buff Duration. Duration of all buffs plus 15%. I would skip this. I feel like this is just like a, a filler skill. Now to the final section, the yellowish section. Festival Splendid Rank C. Receive an additional arcane symbol for completing any of our Arcane River Daily Quest. Rank B is the same and it stacks with the previous rank. Uh, rank A is the same and stacks with the previous two ranks as well. Rank S, now this one's a little interesting. Uh, receive the following items once per character every Wednesday by talking to Muhammad at the festival venue map. So when you talk to him, you get a Empress Reset Ticket, Hard Magnus Reset Ticket and CRA Reset Ticket. Which means you can be doing these bosses twice per week per character. Right now, doing these bosses already, just from the power crystals, you get over 200 mil. So, being able to do this on a, a whole bunch of characters, yeah, this could prove to be quite lucrative. Festival Splendor Boss Attack. Plus 30% attack power when attacking bosses. This is excellent for bossing enthusiasts. Festival Splendor Monster Park. Two times Monster Park Clear XP. I'd say this is skippable. And so that's it. That's all the skill points you can get. A friendly reminder, you will have a maximum of 12 skill points. You can only reset it once during the event and the option will be available on the 9th of September. Now the main one out of all these I would say is important is the plus 100% Ruin EXP skill. This is actually crazy good. You know, for Legion mules who just do Zacuum, uh, or grinding on your main character, it's just too good not to have. The skill is all around useful, you know, whether you're leveling like a low level character or a character that's 250 plus. Other ones, it really depends on what goals you have. Uh, now, if you're still a bit unsure what perks uh, or main event to do, 
uh, you know, please come drop by my Twitch. I stream daily and I'll try to help you guys as best as I can. So that's it. That's the Celestial Festival event, guys. If this video has helped you in any way, shape or form, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more MapleStory content. I'm Axe Gunner, the real Axe Gunner. Peace out.